The city of Beirut is a concrete jungle. Parks and playgrounds occupy less than one square meter per resident. One of the last green havens in the city is the tiny but popular Jesuit garden. Throughout the years though, even that has been reduced to an eighth of its original 1940 size. When the municipality announced a plan to build an underground parking, many people were skeptical that the park would be rebuilt. C'est un poumon pour ce quartier, ce jardin. Ça va casser aussi un lien social. However, the neighborhood was divided between nature lovers and those in favor of the parking lot. Plans for a protest were discussed, but many people feared a low turnout. To guarantee a successful protest, we had to mobilize nature lovers to join. In the first phase, scented flyers were handed out to people in the neighborhood. At the same time, we took some local talking points used by people in favor of the parking lot and used them ironically to highlight the absurdity of their arguments. <laughs> Three sentences were put up at the entrance of the garden, signed, the residents of Jayatawi. Over the garden, we won't spa, we just want to park our car. Whether you say yes or no, we want to park our Renault. Who needs a garden view when we need to park our BMW? The reaction was immediate. Angry residents tore down the banners while many people thought the messages were serious and shared them online. Within hours, the campaign went viral. Our strategy worked. The leading bloggers of Lebanon asked nature lovers to join the protest. On the day of the protest, music bands, local artists and activists joined. Some even showed up with mocking banners. We want green spots, not parking lots. Enough stupidity. Replace your Renault with something pretty. It was the biggest turnout of any green protest in Lebanon. The issue took center stage. Every leading media jumped on the story. Six TV channels, 40 print and online outlets, 10 radio stations, key blogs, and thousands of online users joined the conversation, reaching 88% of the population and $200,000 worth of media coverage. Before long, politicians intervened. A concert was organized to further highlight the importance of green space. Due to public pressure, the municipality decided to cancel the project and preserve the garden, and one of Beirut's last green escapes was saved.